how long how to solve this problem this is n times n times n and this equals 8 divided by 1 to 5. we are solving for all values of n that satisfies this equation so n times n that is n power 2 times n that is n to the power of 3 and this equals 8 divided by 1 to 5. now let's express this 8 in terms of 2 so that the exponents will be 3 and also this 125 let's express it in terms of 5 so that the exponents will be 3 so we have 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2 this is 2 to the power of 3 so we are going to replace this 8 with 2 power 3 then 1 to 5 equals 5 times 5 times 5 and this equals 5 power 3 so we are going to replace this with 5 power 3. That means this equation simply becomes we have n power 3 equals 2 power 3 divided by 5 power 3. Now if you observe the exponent here and the exponent here the same, if you have a power c divided by a power c, this equals a divided by p raised to the power of c. I apply this right here. That means I'm simply going to have n power 3 equals 2 divided by 5 or to the power of 3. Now in order to solve this cubic equation, I move this over here. It becomes n power 3 minus 2 over 5 raised to the power of 3 equals 0. Now at this particular point, there's power 3 here, there's power 3 here, and this is minus, so I can easily expand this using this identity if you have a power 3, minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus a p plus b power 2. Now in this case, our a equals n, b equals 2 over 5. So let's make use of this identity. a squared will be n power 2 plus ab n times 2 over 5 plus b squared 2 over 5 to the power of 2 and what do you get? There is a minus b here already so I can easily insert that. I have my a minus b, which is a is n. I have n minus 2 over 5. And this multiply this, which everything equals 0. So from here, what I can do will be to expand this. I have n minus 2 over 5 times this is n squared plus n times 2, 2n over 5 plus. 2 power 2, that is 4 over 5 power 2. That is 25. And this equals 0. So from here, what I can do is to equate each of these two to 0. I can have the first one. n minus 2 over 5 equals 0. Or I have this one here. n squared plus 2n over 5 plus 4 over 25 equals 0. So from here, I can solve for n right now by moving this over here. I'll simply have n equals 2 over 5. This is my n1. Now let's solve this other one here for the other values of n. This is a quadratic equation, but before we solve this, let's make sure that we find the common LCM, which is 25. 25 divided by 1, 25, 25 times n squared, that is 25 n squared plus 25 divided by 5, 5, 5 times 2, and that is 10 n plus 25 divided by 25, 1, 1 times 4, we have 4, and this equals 0. This is of our 1, we cross multiply. 25 multiply 0, that is 0, and this multiply 1, so we have 25 n squared plus 10n 
plus 4 and this equals 0. Now we have our quadratic equation right now. So let's go ahead and solve it using a formula method. So we write the formula in respect to n. And the formula is n equals negative b plus or minus square root of e power 2 minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. All right, now 25 here, which is the equation of n squared is our a, then is b before is c. So we are going to insert it right here. Gals n equals this is negative 10 plus or minus square root of 10 power 2 minus 4 times 25 times 4. And this is divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times. 25. So from here on, we are going to have n equal this is negative 10 plus or minus square root of 10 squared, that is 100, minus 4 times 25, 100 times 4, that is 400, divided by 2 times 25, that is 50. So right now we are going to have n equals this is minus 10 plus or minus square root of this is 100 minus 400 that is negative 300 divided by 50. So from here I have n equals negative 10 plus or minus square root of because of this mean I have square root of negative 1 times square root of 300 divided by 50. So from here I can have n equal this is negative 10 plus or minus square root of negative 100 xi times square root of 300 I can express it as 3 times 100 divided by 50. So from here, you can have n equals this is negative 10 plus or minus i times square root of 100 is 10. I can have 10 with 3 divided by 50. So this will give you 10 can cancel itself once, cancel this once, cancel this 5. You have negative 1 plus or minus i with 3 divided by 5. So from here, we can have two complex solutions for n. We can have n2 equals negative 1 plus i with 3 divided by 5, which is the same thing as saying 1 over 5 times negative 1 plus i with 3. And also, we can have n3 equals negative 1 minus i root 3 divided by 5, which is the same thing as 1 over 5 negative 1 minus i root 3. So we have two complex solutions and also we have one real solution which is 2 over 5. Now if you want to check is just to insert this particular real solution for n. Then we have n equals 2 over 5. That means you are going to have 2 over 5 times 2 over 5 times 2 over 5 equals 8 over 1 to 5. 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2. That is, it divided by 5 times 5, 25, 25 times 5, that is 1 to 5. And this equals 8 divided by 1 to 5. Left hand side equals right hand side. Impressive. So that is it, guys. That is it. Thank you, and see you again.